Rory, um, given the, the fact that uh, there's uh, a lot of food missing on the shelves and that it might be harder to access fresh fruit, fruits and vegetables, do you have a recommendation in regards to say, uh, what would be better canned foods or frozen fruits and vegetables or how do people get around that? Um, so that's a great question. So the, um, the, the produce situation, and it seems to fluctuate from week to week, um, mm. some weeks, right? We get, we're jumping up and down and giving high fives because there's strawberries. Um, and other weeks there's nothing, right? Um, so there's no, um, there's no nutrient difference in terms of the frozen versus the fresh. If the frozen is available, I would take it. Vegetables are fiber at this point and so are fruit. Um, so I don't think it's worth compromising that and not choosing anything. Um, the biggest thing in terms of um, the nutrients aspect with the produce that's fresh versus frozen or canned is um, the color and how many nutrients are actually left in it. If you're to cook or or boil or however you're sauteing like frozen vegetables and they turn to change to a dull color especially like with peas or things like that a lot of the nutrients have leached out so you're not getting a lot of the benefits so just watching the cooking times and ensuring that you're not cooking things too long will enable some of those fresh or those frozen or canned items to be as nutritious as if you were going to get fresh but i'd say the fiber intake is the most important thing right now so um modify what you usually do just in terms of getting enough variety in terms of the fruits and vegetables overall.